Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about the 60th annual Holiday House. The state moves forward with online voter registration and more. Today is Thursday, December 15th, and this is the Morning Report. The 60th annual Holiday House opened in downtown Fort Myers. The Fort Myers Women's Community Club has decorated both the historic boroughs and Langford Kingston homes in the traditional holiday colors of red, green, silver, and gold with reindeer, pine cones, angels, and cardinals. Holiday House 2016 is open now through Friday, December 23rd from 5 to 9 p.m. with the last tour beginning at 8.30 p.m. Tickets are $5 for adults and children under the age of 10 are free. Veterans and active members of the military are free with identification. The Obama administration on Wednesday finalized a rule that lets wind energy companies operate high-speed turbines for up to 30 years, even if it means killing or injuring thousands of federally protected bald eagles and golden eagles. The new rule will conserve eagles while also spurring development of a pollution-free energy source intended to ease global warming, a cornerstone of President Barack Obama's energy plan, said Fish and Wildlife Service Director Dan Ash. You can read more about it at NaplesHerald.com. Work remains on pace to allow online voter registration in Florida by next October. State elections officials told lawmakers Tuesday, also Tuesday, Secretary of State Ken Detzner said the state's election database and voting systems remain secured through 2016. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.